welcome back to mlt world today friend in this video i am going to share you a information almost all information about ana test what is ana test ana stands for anti nuclear antibody test in the form of question answering we will discuss this lecture let's start so first question will be what is ana test as we told ana is anti nuclear antibody so this test is done in blood to check the presence of anti nuclear antibodies that in the blood there is anti nuclear antibodies present or not for this doctors are writing this test so next question will be in mind our will come that what are antibodies antibodies are basically protein in nature and one of the most important part of our immune system because our immune system will make antibodies that will fight against foreign substances like bacteria and viruses so if uh, antibodies are important then why anti nuclear antibodies uh, are different from normal antibodies so next question will come in mind that why it is called anti nuclear antibodies and what anti nuclear antibodies will do so anti nuclear antibodies we will call them because these antibodies will attack the cells of the Uh, organs and tissues so and in the cell also they will attack specially nucleus of the cells so anti that's why we will call anti nuclear antibodies because their target is the nucleus of the cells and why we will call anti nuclear and what they will do they will attack our own healthy cells so presence of ana means the pre- indication of autoimmune disorders so what are the autoimmune disorders auto in autoimmune disorders what happen that our body on antibodies they will attack the uh, cells of uh, tissue and organs and that make damage to the organs and tissues so what we will say that our own antibodies become our own enemies and that's why this uh, autoimmune diseases are happening and that's why doctors are recommending anti nuclear antibody test or ana test so what uh, uh, in what diseases ana test is used to uh, uh, done or for what we will use this test these are systemic lupus erythematous that we will call sle and rheumatoid arthritis that we will call ra uh, scleroderma disease and sejor sorry for pronunciation sejogren's syndrome uh, and addison disease and autoimmune hepatitis so these all are the autoimmune disorders in which doctors will write to ana test so what are the symptoms that patient will show with these uh, if they have any one of this autoimmune disease it will they will show fever uh, fatigue um, skin uh, rashes blisters sometimes skin color changes and muscles and joint pain these all symptoms will indicate the presence of autoimmune disorder but confirmation is done by ana test so what what type of sample is required to perform the ana test we need blood sample and for this sample no need fasting any time sample can be collected and sample is collected in the clot activator tube either red tube or gel tube and then in lab we will centrifuge the sample and serum is separated and from serum we will perform this test so next and the at the end we have to understand the results how we will interpret the results of uh, ana test if ana test is negative it will show value less than 1 ratio 40 so if result will show one ratio for less than one ratio 40 it means that in the blood there is absence of anti nuclear antibodies but if it is positive it will show more than one ratio 40 so one ratio of more than one ratio 40 if result will come it means that anti nuclear antibodies are present and that will indicate the sign of autoimmune disorder and later on depending on the type of organ what damaged and 
the symptoms doctors will decide the which type of autoimmune disorder so i hope you understand the concept of ana test i will meet you with new video thank you so much until that take care